Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad and today I am going to do an update on my rainbow cichlids because we've not done one of them for a while and I'm going to show you the biggest waru cichlid that I've ever seen. Now, you will know that that we got the big tank that we bought for Binlid, the Texas cichlid and we brought some tank mates over for him so it was a pair of waru. Um, Honestly, I'm not lying to you, it's the biggest waru I've ever seen in the mail. I have kept waru for years, as you know, I've bred them. Um, it used to be the only fish that I kept for a long time, and <clears throat> I've never seen one as big as this male, I'm not going to lie to you. And the reason I want to show you the rainbow cichlids and do an update on them is because, obviously, we've not done an update on them for a while. We have kept all six, and they are part of a plan, um, a Central American setup that... I'm doing in the old Trimac tank. So, okay guys, before we go over and do that, I need you to do me a favour. I know I keep asking you and I keep, and I will keep asking, but if you're not subscribed to the channel guys, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thought, consider it, because it's just a click of a button. So you click the subscribe button below and you ping the bell next week, which gives you notifications. Um, it helps me in the algorithm. If you're watching my videos, then why not subscribe? If you do get fed up and I start boring you, you just click the button again and you unsubscribe. That's how easy it is. It's free of charge, so you don't have to pay for it, which is good as well. Uh, and it would be very much appreciated, guys, if you was to do that for me. Um, and thank you to everybody that's already done that. Um, it means so much, so thank you. I think we're, we're you know ready for 1,150 subscribers now, so... We're doing really well, and we're nearly at the minutes as well, guys. We're nearly at the minutes. So, yeah, today's video, we are going to talk about the biggest waru cichlid that I have ever seen, and an update on the rainbow cichlids, and I think that's where we'll start with the video. We'll go to the rainbow cichlids, and I'll talk you through my plans for that tank and what's going to happen with it. Okay, so let's do this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you... The tank set up first because all the rainbow cichlids have just darted into those rocks. They're very skittish, they're quite skittish, they always have been. Um, but let me show you what I've done with the tank. So, this is a 260 litre tank, that's UK litres. Now, in US gallons, I think that's around about 80 gallons. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Oh, look, here they are. Look, they're all coming out. So, basically, what I've done is I have got the terracotta pots there. In this corner of a nice plant not really nice but there you go it does a job um, and then I've built this mass cave so this cave's quite big it's just a load of stones a little cave in a bit of wood with some caves in there you can see a little Robert stone eye cichlid so I've got two small Robert stone eye cichlids in there uh, but this at the moment there is six rainbow cichlids which you've seen before and they're growing really well we had to move them out of that cube tank because it just wasn't big enough and stunning yellow look at that color a couple of them still have like stressy color which is a bit weird there's a couple of bristle nose plex in there and a blue phantom there you can see i have got two more fish coming for this tank guys um from max cichlids and i'm not getting them till june but they're coming in here they don't grow big this is going to be a little central american community tank hopefully get a couple of fish breeding in here um, that's the idea of the two splits there so I mean get something breeding in there something breeding in They're very peaceful cichlids what we've got in here and what's coming so hopefully we'll get some breeding projects come from him there is a couple of Robert stone eye cichlids in here they're very small I do believe one's a male and one's a female oh there you go there's one so you can see how little they are they're really small they need to grow some um, we'll grow about eight inches there's the other one you can see him because of the stupid glare but there's the other one very small but yep we've still got no spawn from these six rainbow cichlids and um, they are a bit skittish and um, they was in the cube then we moved him this is the old trimac tank this guys look at that beautiful yellow sorry about the glare it's spoiling the yellow look at that um here's the old trimac tank we move the trimax obviously into the bigger tank which i'll update you on hopefully next week i think but yeah that is the 
Rainbow Tickly Tank. What I've done is I've got some footage which I'm going to show you now. Um, we'll put some nice music over it. Uh, it's of the rainbow cichlids eating some bloodworms so you can get a proper look at them. And then after that, we'll go and check the biggest waru I've ever seen out. So check, let's let, let's cut to the chase and check him out first. He typically is hiding behind a branch, but this guy is 12 inches. And when I called the Texas cichlid a bin lid, he is miles bigger. He is so big. He's a male. That's a female. They are a pair. And these were tank mates of bin lids. So Bin Lid's still alive, guys. He's in an he's in an hospital tank. We're being treated. He's being treated. Um, this was his tank. I spent all that money on this tank to upgrade it for him. A couple of battle wounds there because they've been fighting. I upgraded it for him, and then thought, well, I'll get him some tank mates that, that he used to have. I brought them over, and I don't know what happened. Now, we've talked about it before, but I know that the male Waru and the, the Texan and Bin Lid had a big fight. Whether that had something to do with the lips I don't know but these seem okay there's the Stolzberger guys he's growing nicely he lives in this tank as you know and then we've got some plecos there's a green phantom there there's a galaxy in there there's a there's a nugget there I think there's a snowball in that one there and then there's a L48 in that one so yeah that's just let me pan back show you the setup we big fat piece of courgette there because the waru love it and so do the plex now we obviously are hoping that bin lid comes back into this tank and if bin lid does come back into this tank there'll be no room for anything else but if he doesn't who knows I mean, it's a long way down the road who knows but right now it's just got the two warus stolzbergi and the plecos but check the size of him out honestly guys this this video does not show the absolute size of this fish i've kept warus for years as you know 30 years i've had pears i've had i had a seven foot with a big school in i have had some big warus but i have never seen a waru as big as this he is massive and he's perfect and like i said to you that's that's the female, she's beautiful as well. Beautiful eyes, check the eyes on him. Like I said to you, they were, they grew with been lid in the same tank, but you know, when I brought, like I said before, when I brought these in, they put them in with been lid, the male, the warrior went for him big time. So they were lip locking, so whether, you wouldn't think those little lips there would, would um, been lid's lip. But who knows, anyway, I keep going on about it, don't I? So yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it wasn't the Galaxy that was in there. It was the L48, so I assume the Galaxy is in that tube there. I wish I could get the Galaxy out. It's a massive, beautiful Pleco. There's the Nugget. See the Nugget up there? Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. So, yeah, that's the Waru tank, though. So, obviously, now it's a South American setup. All these fish are South American. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, that's the. Waru cichlid, the biggest Waru cichlid I have ever seen. Phenomenal fish. Look at that. So how we ended up here, guys, I do not know, but it's typical me. <laughs> typical me. Anyway, guys, let's go and wrap this video up. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you agree. That's... Have you seen a bigger Waru than that? 12 inches. He is, honestly, he is like a dinner plate. He's massive. Um... So yeah, and obviously I'll let you know in the future what we do with that tank, what we, what, what you know, what decisions we make. You know, we've got to keep our fingers crossed for Bin Lid because he's still going. He's in, a, he is in an hospital tank, and you know we've treated him. You know, we've, we've, we've I'm still waiting for the the flower on treatments to come because it takes a while to come. But 
he's had some salt baths. The Cuban cyclist is looking fantastic. He has really turned the corner. He's still got the lympho cyst, but we expect that. He's perked up massively and he's eating again. So, and all I did with him was give him a salt bath. I will not, I'm not gonna do a video on that or tell you how much salt I use because I wouldn't want people to go away and do the same and it go wrong. Um, I did take risks because he was in a bad way, but he has come out of it the other side and he's perked up. So, anyway guys, that is me. I am out and I will see you on the next video. See you later.